Now you can't come to Lightning Ridge without going to see a mine, right? Hard hats are adjustable at the back, you just push the button and adjust it. Yep. Awesome. Uh, firm but not so tight that you can get a headache. Okay guys? Gotcha. Don't trip the leash. Mm. Don't you trip, because that's going to be worse for me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Chambers guys. Now we'll start at the beginning, the black hand part. It all came about due to a directional sign up top at the intersection. It's an old piece of tin, painted black, cut in the shape of a hand with a finger pointing, and there's been a hand up there for 80 years. A miner said to another, probably at the pub, where are you working? The reply, out at that black hand, and that's how it's all come about. <laughs> Now that staircase you came down, it's 84 steps to this level alone, and it took our artist Ron Canlon six months to dig it all the way to the bottom. This was all dug out just for his artwork, 22 to 23 years worth of work for Ron. He dug, carved and painted everything, but he's never had an art lesson. So the first carving was the hand and welcome sign on the wall, the chains on either side of the doorway, and on our left side looking out, a navy sword and military uh, insignia. But guys, the carvings were carved with a Sheffield steel bone handle butter knife. Just for a moment, try and envision this. You're a young, vibrant man. You've spent 11 years as a Marine and six as a deep sea diver. And then you decide you're gonna come underground and try your luck at opal mining. Now, that was pretty unsuccessful for Ron. Less than $1,000 a year. So, he started a hobby. Now, over the next 20 odd years, he carved over 800 individual carvings into what you see around here. Now, Ron never envisioned this going public. What's incredible for me is to think that all of this could have been here underground and none of us would have ever known. We're going down another eight metres to a depth of 20 metres underground. All right, guys, there's the sandstone. There's the bottom of the sandstone. You can see the distinct layer between the two different levels. That's your opal clay. We call it the level. There can be two and three levels in your claim, so that's two or three times the prehistoric riverbed has come and gone. Your opal is generally in that area of the roof but I have found some beautiful opal around our ankles in height. And the old fellows, they believed there was no opal in the floor. They dug tunnels this high, crawled around on their hands and knees. So God knows how much opal they crawled over in the past. Now the old fellows have taken all this dirt out because on the roof was opal everywhere. Yep. So there's grey potch everywhere there and over that side, yep. a lot of black potch. Black pots used to end up on the back of doublets and triplets, but they're cutting jewellery out of it now. Mm. And so why hasn't Ron or anyone taken this out no of colour. reason? No okay. colour. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it's just translucent. It's what of. we call trace. Okay. Trace might lead you astray, yep. might lead you to something better. Mm. There's been miners here for over 100 years mining the ground, different miners of course. It really is like it's a, almost just a guessing game and sort of going in there with not much to go off really, isn't yeah, it? It is a guessing yeah. game and you need a lot of luck on your side. We yeah. do have a saying, if the opal hasn't got your name on it, you're not going to find it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so it's broken the heart of a lot of men over the years, this mining game. Yeah. yeah. And sent a lot of men broke too, of yeah. course. Yeah. 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 